everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel i'm ahana and here we talk about all things related to stationery planners productivity organization and in general trying to live your best life and if that interests you don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to be notified every time i post a new video so it's teachers day tomorrow and when i was in school i did the whole lanyards i made really you know thoughtful customized cards for each of my subject teachers and i did that for years and i kind of lost touch with that obviously when we went to college and then post graduation so it got me thinking you know if you're not super creative or if you don't have too much time what is the one thing that all teachers will love and appreciate and it's very reasonable and affordable and they will not you know have any issues accepting it either pens obviously so i have a few pen recommendations for all of you and all of these are the latest pens that i could find in my nearby stationery store so i think they're pretty new on the market like that the shopkeeper told me these are like the teachers day collection so i thought why not right maybe if you see something you like here and you can get it for a teacher and i really like how everything's packaged like none of them are like loose pens so you can actually give it as a gift and it would not look weird so that's what we have for today's video and let's get into it so all the pens that we're going to be talking about today range between rupees 10 to rupees 30 but before we get into that i just wanted to quickly show you this one recommendation which is the papercraft chop in pen and i've done a detailed video on it right here so please check that out it's a really great gifting option and i think you should definitely consider it if you have a slightly higher budget i put the price here and i also link this pen in the description below so let's move on to our pen recommendations today the pens that i got are supposedly newly launched in the market and i got four pens from link and three from cello and let's see how they perform let's start with link first i have link laser axo and this is what the packaging looks like and this is for rupees 20 and it's in blue color i'm sure you'll get a black one as well it's a ball pen so let's see how this looks like okay so it has like a plastic body and this metal clip the white color looks really classy and if you give this to a teacher i think they'll really appreciate it once we open it it's a pretty sharp nib like a 0.7 mm or something and there is a rubber padding on the grip so it should be easy to hold on to and like always, I obviously want to do a quick writing test with it. So let's see how it performs. So it flows out pretty smoothly. There was no amount of like staggered flow with this. And it writes like any other ballpoint pen. Like there's nothing special, I think. But it gives a pretty comfortable grip. And the body feels pretty sturdy. Like I don't think you would be worried about the metal clip breaking or anything like that in terms of the writing it's much a little because i just rubbed it as soon as i was done writing so a little bit of extra ink flow is there but it's not staggered at all it started flowing right off the bat there is no amount of ghosting or bleeding at all so i think this is a pretty good option let's move on to the next one the next one is link meeting g1 and this is also blue and it's for 20 rupees so it's a plastic body all around and it looks decent but it doesn't look like a link pen if you know what i mean like we kind of know link pens to be really slim and this does not look like that there is no like special padding on the grip so i think it might be a little uncomfortable to write with and even the nib is not super sharp but let's see how it writes <music> So it writes pretty well there was no amount of staggering it just flew right off the bat but then again it didn't feel you know that smoothness of the flow which you usually get maybe with gel pens or fountain pens that wasn't there it's a ball pen so that's not the expectation in general but it just kind of felt a little like i had to force it out a little bit and there was a little bit of smudging and very very faint amount of ghosting like no bleeding at all but very faint amount of ghosting but about this pen what's actually bothering me is that there are ridges on the grip area and that's not great for your you know writing pressure so if you're writing for a long amount of time it's definitely going to hurt your fingers but if you're giving this to a teacher then I'm guessing he or she would probably not write, right? You know, they are not going to take lecture notes or anything. They probably just grade page papers or something like that. So for that purpose, I think this is good enough. But for longer writing 
usage this is not a great idea the next one we have is called link glycer 10x and they have something called the hybrid ink technology it is also a ballpoint pen for 15 rupees and it is blue in color so this you know this is what i was talking about this looks like a link pen like it's smooth it's sleek it's stylish i would say it's if i put this within other link pens I would not like, you know, I would not get confused. I would assume this is a link pen. And this body is pretty good. Like, again, there's a metal clip and it's a plastic body. But, and it's pretty sleek. And it comes with, like, a rubber padding around the grip area. So that's great. I really like it when pens have that. It makes writing so much easier. It doesn't say what the nib size is. But it looks like a really fine tip. So let me try it out. <music> So yeah, it was definitely a fine tip and it did flow pretty smoothly. There is very little amount of smudging and I don't think there would be any, yeah, there is no ghosting at all. I like this the best so far. There was no amount of staggering and it didn't like give gaps in the middle of the letters anywhere. Sometimes ballpoint pens do that and also the fact that this is a sharp nib, it doesn't reflect that on paper. So I kind of felt like these two nibs are very distinct because this one looks way thicker than this one but then again the way they wrote it looked almost same so i don't think the strokes from this pen will actually be thinner than the ones from the previous one but, but it's fine that is not really all that important but it just seemed like it would be you know thinner strokes that's all anyway let's move on to the next one this is our final link pen that we have and this is a link ball pen called signeta 2.0 and it's called super tip and it's a retractable pen so all of these are cap pens and this one's retractable also this is blue and this is 30 rupees okay so first impressions on the body it is a full metal body so it looks pretty good like i think for gifting options this is your best choice out of all of them because they actually look like a pen that another teacher will have the retractable mechanism is pretty smooth it doesn't get stuck so that's good and even like the body feels pretty sturdy then the metal clip is not like too bendy or something that it would break it feels pretty strong and there is no like silicone or rubber padding around the grip area which again i don't like it because i think it should be there for more like comfortable writing but since you are thinking about this for a teacher i think uh, for grading purposes this should be good enough i think this is a great choice that you can make so let's see how it performs <music> So there was some initial trouble with this. Sometimes it happens with ballpoint pens that write, when you start writing, there is a little time for the ink to start flowing, which is okay. But once that started flowing, I think this was really smooth to write with. Like the pen actually glided over the paper and that was not something that I experienced with the other pen so far. And there was no smudging at all, like zero smudging. And even there was no ghosting. So this will definitely not leave any impressions. This is a great choice for a pen. And if only this had a grip, I would suggest it for students as well. Because this is a great option. And you know, with sometimes when I was in school, we used to keep losing the caps all the time of the pen. So a retractable pen is actually a great choice. And it's only 30 rupees. So I think as a gifting option, it's definitely a good one. And even for your personal use as a student, you can use this if you are not intending to write a lot so yeah that's it with the link pens let's look at what we have from cello so cello has this velvet o ball pen and it is black in color and it is only 10 rupees so let's see what this is like okay so i think cello has pretty much like you know this this is their pattern like i have two three other pens from cello and they look similar this is the body like this they've decided that this is the design that we're going to go with and that's it so i like that i like consistency this is a plastic body and there's this metal clip which is not too sturdy so i have experienced this with these kind of pens before that they break very easily so far it's holding up because obviously it's new but i think if you put it on a notebook or something there are chances it might break moving on there is a rubber padding at the grip area but it's not too thick so even though they, there is a padding and still feels pressure when i like, try to write with like the normal amount of pressure that i write with they're saying this is a fine needle tip let's test it out <music> So 
the ink flow is very good there was no amount of staggering it pre it pretty much like you know slid over the paper but it's not really a fine tip like they said it's a fine tip but it's the same as the other link pens like the at least the width of each of the strokes is pretty much the same so on the fine tip part i don't agree with it but it's a pretty good pen let's move on to the next pen which is the cello paper soft ball pen and this is for 20 rupees and it is blue okay so this looks a little bit more premium like i would think it's more than 20 rupees it also says advanced writing system and the pen nib is 0.7 mm this is the first pen where it's mentioned the nib size and this looks pretty classy i would say like the black body is giving it a pretty professional look so i like that this metal clip is not that sturdy but i think it will be okay if you don't fidget with it too much okay now let's look at this so the grip area has so many ridges it's going to be really uncomfortable to write with i don't understand why companies do this because if i'm placing my hand on this part like the bridge between the nib and the you know the barrel if i'm placing it over here it's gonna hurt a lot if i'm writing with it for a very long period of time so ideally there should have been like a rubber or a silicone grip here which i am really missing and let's see how this writes <music> The ink flow is really smooth from the get go and it doesn't stop there is no like you know blank spaces between the letters none of those things it doesn't smudge at all and there is no ghosting so in terms of writing quality this is great again for a teacher i think this is a good gifting option especially you know also in the way that it comes in this package and everything you can give it as a gift and we're down to our final pen today which is the cello point tech gel which has a 0.5 nib and it's supposed to be for fine writing so we will test it out but for now it looks like i was saying like the other cello pens so they kind of have like very similar stuff this is the ballpoint pen and this is the gel pen and they have very similar structures full plastic body again this metal clip so and then they have this ridge for in the grip area and for the ballpoint pen they did put like at least even if it was a really thin one they did put a silicone or a rubber grip around this area but for the gel pen they have not again um, and it's supposed to be a finer tip than the rest so it's supposed to be 0.5 tip let's see how it does okay so this wrote really well of course it's a gel pen and the only one i have of the lot so the ink flow is really smooth and it didn't get stuck at all and it was it really like slid over the paper and also for a gel pen it didn't smudge and there was no amount of coasting i actually while writing with this i did not feel too much discomfort also for the ridged grip area so i think this might be okay even for longer writing tasks so you can try it out these were my recommendations you can go with either of them but if you ask me what my top choices were among the link pens i'm going to pick the link luxor axo and the link signeta 2.0 because i think these look really good they write pretty well and to give to a teacher i think they would look like appropriate pens to give to a teacher and among the cello ones i really like how the point tech writes so even though it can pass off as like you know a regular pen as well and not specifically for a gifting gifting pen you can go with that or you can try the paper soft one this definitely looks like a proper gifting pen so i think you can try this one out as well and yes that's it for this video i hope you like these kind of stationary recommendation sort of videos let me know in the comments below what you want to see next and i'll see you next week bye